The internet is a bustling hub for sharing pictures with others. Sometimes, an image will be taken from some obscure part of the internet and shared with others elsewhere, causing a snowball effect and creating some of the most famous online stories and media. Lots of us from different walks of life have all seen these images at some point. But have you ever wondered where they came from? What the stories behind them are? In today's video, we're going to look at famous online images and peel back the layers to discover their origins. Get ready to find Ground Zero. The most famous entry on the SCP Creatures Wiki, SCP-173, is described by the SCP Foundation website as a large humanoid sculpture constructed of concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile, and it's capable of moving at high speeds when not in direct line of sight of a human. It typically attacks by snapping the necks of its victims, or strangling them. The image accompanying the web entry didn't in fact originate from this website. Using reverse image searching leads to a dead end, with some of the earliest forum posts containing the image coming from 2008. However, it doesn't take too much research to find where the original image came from, Untitled is a 2 plus meter tall sculpture made by Japanese contemporary artist Izumi Kato in 2004 and was first featured on the SCAI The Bathhouse website in an advertisement for an art exhibit held from April 9th to May 7th 2005. Looking at their other art pieces, it's easy to see where the style comes from. Contrary to the SCP entry, the sculpture is actually made from wood, charcoal and acrylic making it a lot less threatening than the concrete in rebar. Ever dream this man? You might have seen this face before going around the internet with people saying they've all dreamt of this person. Every night throughout the world, hundreds of people dream about this face. Reports of this man appearing in dreams goes back to the 1980s. The first image of this man was sketched in 2006 by a well-known psychiatrist in New York based on the descriptions of a patient who claimed he was a reoccurring subject in dreams. What if I told you none of that was true? This man was a hoax which made all of the claims I just said, and even now I still see people online talking about how this is some huge conspiracy. The truth is that the story of this man was created by Italian sociologist and marketeer Andrea Natella in 2008 on his website thisman.org. The website gained lots of attention with the press in 2009 before it was proven to be a hoax. Natella admitted that it was part of a guerrilla marketing campaign run by his advertising agency. So what about the infamous sketch? It turns out the sketch was actually drawn by Natella himself and according to him, it was based on a photo of his father when he was younger. Nutella said he wanted to explore the power of the internet to see if he could create an urban legend. Looks like he could, after all. Liminal spaces can cause us to feel a wide range of emotion, from nostalgia and comfort, to isolation and discomfort. For me, this image has always filled me with nostalgia, probably due to the fact it so closely resembles the old Windows wallpaper Bliss and gives off the same vibe of tranquility. Feels like it's some transitional plane which exists out of anything dynamic we usually experience. But the truth is, this is a real image of a real place. After some research, you can find this image posted all over the Liminal Space subreddit. That's probably because if you keep sifting through these copies, you'll find the original image on that very subreddit. Posted in 2021 by user Primitive Objective, this is the original post, and looking through the comments shows that this user took this photo themselves. So that's the origin of the image, but the real question is, where is this? Unlike basically every other post like this, the post's author was nice enough to answer this question down in the comments. Travelling to this area on Google Earth doesn't seem very promising, since the scenery and topography don't seem right. However, by comparing the features in the photo with what we can see, this wall on the outskirts of a car park seems quite familiar. If we look at this video of the nearby building posted to Facebook, we can just about make out that this is indeed the location of the famous liminal space. 
I don't know about you, but I find it fascinating that all these liminal spaces are out there somewhere, completely ignored by everyone. It only takes looking at them from the right angle to notice them. Potentially the most famous creepypasta image to ever exist, Jeff the Killer has been seen by practically everyone and was present on almost every forum and server back in the early 2010s. For an image this famous, it's very surprising how difficult the search for the original unedited image has been. The search began by narrowing Jeff the Killer down to two popular edits. The most famous one, which is heavily distorted, and a slightly less distorted one with different eyes. Here's what we can analyse. For a start, while not confirmed, the less mainstream image has eyes which very closely resemble the eyes of Mr. Potato Head, and this image seems to be a less distorted version of the other based on the smile, so it's worth focusing on the less edited version from now on. The first known appearances of the earlier picture began with a Japanese media sharing site called fileman.n1e.jp by an anonymous user on July 24th, 2005. It was accompanied by a caption roughly translating to the fear of summer nights, and the description, a certain celebrity before plastic surgery. Some of the comments mentioned seeing the image on other sites, suggesting that there were previous posts. The first bit of popularity the image received was when a Japanese analog horror video containing the image was uploaded to YouTube in November of 2007. The image gained more popularity when it was posted to the website Newgrounds in August 2008 by a user called Killer Jeff, who claimed the image was of them. This is how the iconic photo got its name. Killer Jeff later uploaded a video presentation of a creepypasta based on the character in October of that same year. In 2011, Killer Jeff's brother submitted the infamous Jeff the Killer story to the creepypasta wiki. But who is the person in the picture? For a long time, the leading theory was that the image was of a girl named Katie Robinson who committed suicide after posting photos of herself to 4chan, which were then photoshopped in an attempt to mock her appearance. One of these photoshops was allegedly the famous Jeff image. However, this theory was debunked years later. Not only is Katie Robinson still alive, or Heather as she's actually called, but she also didn't have anything to do with the image. The best lead we have so far comes from a group of investigators who have made connections between the Jeff image and images of a woman on a Japanese image board who went by the name of Mariko. When comparing her hairline, face shape, and smile, it seems almost certain that this is the original person behind the heavy edits. After lots of searching by the investigators, however, the actual original picture has yet to be found, so for now, this is the closest we've come to the original image. have to say, of all the creepypastas on this list, the rake was the one that personally scared me the most when I was younger. Many people have seen the image, but maybe you haven't read the story. The first mention of the rake was when an anonymous 4chan user made a post on the random discussion board in late 2005 which said, Hey B, let's make a new monster. This post had lots of people contributing to it with their own ideas, and the output was the infamous rake. If you don't know, the main premise of the creepypasta is that the rake is an eerie and elusive creature that captured attention in 2003 after witnesses in rural New York and Idaho reported encounters with a humanoid entity of unknown origin. Described as a naked man or a hairless dog with disturbing movements, the creature's presence is linked to traumatic events, including an account of an attack on a family that resulted in the death of a child. Historical documents from the different time periods and locations contribute to a collaborative effort revealing a pattern of encounters with the rake. Many fan arts were made of the creature, but by far the most recognisable one is the realistic looking thermal image of the creature. 
The picture was taken on November 30th, 2010 and quickly went viral, even ending up on lots of news channels, with a few even taking it seriously. Nobody had any idea what it was for a while, but it turns out this image is just a hoax, as it's actually a heavily edited picture of a creature called the Grim that first appeared in the game Resistance 2. It was actually hinted by the game developers, Insomniac Games, that it was them who released the image. So this whole thing could actually just be some clever promotional material. Smile Dog, or Smile.jpg, is a well-known creepypasta that originated online and gained notoriety for its unsettling narrative. The story revolves around an alleged cursed image featuring a grotesque smiling dog. According to the creepypasta, those who view the image are cursed and haunted by nightmares of the dog telling them to show others the image, essentially passing on the curse. The nightmares never end and only get worse over time, eventually leading to the character's demise. The tale often includes a warning not to spread or view the image, adding to the ominous nature of the story. The narrative typically unfolds through a series of emails or messages shared among characters who have encountered the cursed image, amplifying the sense of dread and horror associated with Smile Dog. The Smile Dog legend originated in online forums and messaging boards in the 2000s. The exact origins of the story are somewhat unclear, but it's believed to have been circulated on websites like 4chan and various horror-themed forums sometime in 2008. The infamous image itself, known as Smile.jpg, is a photo of a Siberian husky with an unnaturally wide and unsettling grin. Its teeth are long and human-like, and its eyes glow with an eerie light. There's no context for the image, but the story states that everyone who viewed the image gave the same description of a dog in a dimly lit room with a human hand in the background. One theory is that Smile.jpg was created by a group on 4chan in 2008. These users, known for their love of disturbing and unsettling imagery, reportedly made the image as part of a bigger project to see how far they could push the limits of human perception and study the psychological effects of disturbing content. Another theory is that Smile.jpg is much older, with its roots tracing back to the early days of the internet. People who believe this theory think the image might have been created by a secret online community or as part of a covert psychological experiment. While there really isn't any information surrounding two of the images, a recent theory surrounding the origins of the most overexposed image suggests that it's a composite of multiple images. It's based on the belief that the original image may have been of a normal husky and that the hand in the background were added later using Photoshop. It's possible that the original husky image may have been found. Reddit user not hurting anyone 5678 made a post about an image saying, I think I found one of the images used to make Smile Dog. The eyes and facial markings look exactly the same. Subsequent edits attempting to recreate this image from the picture proved successful, however the background didn't match up. Fortunately, somebody else found the original image of the curtains. The earliest trace I could find of this image was from a French blog in 2008. The other two images seem to be complete mysteries for now. Regardless of its true origin, Smile Dog has left a lasting impression in internet horror folklore, captivating audiences with its eerie tale and disturbing imagery.